sucks about Air Asia. Now, I know there's always fine print when you buy a uh, cheap ticket. And when you buy a cheap ticket and you want to reschedule it, you do expect to pay fees and charges for that. And airlines have the uh, those policies outlined in small print. And if you want to, you can go and have a look at that. I have no problem with that at all. But what I have problem is the way AirAsia is downright dishonest. I want you to have a look at this. Now I went to, uh, I looked at the small print and there's a $50 rebook fee for each sector. Okay, no worries, I can wear that. And there's another clause that says you have to pay any fair difference. No worries, if it's uh, more expensive, then I'll pay the difference. No problem, that's fairly standard. But what happens now is quite dishonest. Have a look at this. This is uh, this is a fare quoted on the website. Um, this is a regular fare on the 12th of June going from Gold Coast to Kuala Lumpur. 359 Australian dollars. And the return, let's have a look down here. Now your eyes are as good as mine. That says 324 Australian dollars return. Okay, now I paid 333 each way, so for the 324, one would assume, okay, now I'm not going to get any refund there, that's fine, that, that fare's cheaper actually than what I paid, so I'll have no problems there, I'll pay the $50 um, and get a return ticket for that sector net and when you look back up here, $359. Okay, I paid $333. So I'm going to have to pay a bit because as the small print says, if you have to rebook, you have to pay any fair difference. Cool, no problem. I don't have a problem with that. Now, this is where the dishonesty starts with Air Asia. You log on through the uh, what is it, the Manage My Booking site, and you have a little convenient link that allows you to rebook your flight. So, now I've already done this, so I'm going to click the tab and we'll have a look at what prices AirAsia throws up. For uh, This is the same day, have a look at this. 12th of January, oh, sorry, 12th of June, 2012. Returning, here we are, we are returning, do, 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 do. 13th of September 2012 now when I go I'm going to go over to my other tab let's have a look at this now this is the price they give you when you try and rebook it 429 to go from Gold Coast to Kuala Lumpur hang on are my eyes deceiving me let's go back to the other tab where is it 359 Oh dear, let's go back here. 429. Now, that is dishonest. Let's have a look at the return. I'll just scroll up. Do, 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 do. 394 to get from Kuala Lumpur back to the Gold Coast in Australia. That's what they say when you try and rebook. But if I go online right now and book, try and book, what do they say? 329. So, this is actually downright dishonest. This is how Air Asia operates. If this is how they operate, I think people should take a very wide berth. I don't mind small print. I don't mind rules and clauses. You know, they're there. If people want to read them, that's fine. And I don't mind airlines kind of hiding behind the rules and clauses. You ring them up and they say, sorry, you've got to pay the fair difference. That's fine. That's all up front. That's above board. It's readily available to read on the internet. What they're doing here is, you don't know this until you go to rebook. You go to rebook and find that suddenly they have coded the website so that if I'm just going to book a flight as normal, I get one set of fares. If I then go and try and reschedule my flight, they're throwing up a different set of scares. That's actually been coded into the site. 
for mugs like you and I who uh, who so instead of the $50 fee you're actually often up for a couple of hundred dollars extra just through a bit of clever coding and shall I say again dishonesty Air Asia wake up be a little bit more transparent it's bullshit and you should know that